My home is over Jordan and deep river, Lord, I want to cross over into campground deep river my home is to cross over into campground. Oh, don't you want to go to that to cross over into campground. Thank you. Thank you. I, I sang that song a little over two years ago on the steps of the National Negro Opera Company. That home, the house is located in Homewood. Uh, it was founded in 1941 by Madame Mary Cardwell Dawson. And I also, as a young girl, grew up and spent much of my time a few blocks and around the corner of there, just around there, um, in a little neighborhood called Lincoln and Lemington. And growing up, thank you, shout out. <laughs> and growing up, I never knew about the National Negro Opera Company. I didn't know that it had existed. And in fact, it was the first African-American opera company founded in the United States. And this is such a gem rich history that we have here in Pittsburgh. Um, and unfortunately, there's not a lot of um, storytelling about this history. And so as I've uh, lived my life as an artist and performed all over our city and all over our country and some parts of the world, um, I carry with me this history and this heritage and it's my, uh, my goal and my dream to make sure that other little black girls living in Lincoln and Lymington and neighborhoods like it across the world know that a woman named Mary Cardwell Dawson created the first African-American opera company. Mm -hmm. 
These days, I do a lot of performing. Um, I specialize in opera and classical music, jazz and soul, and really breaking down the barriers of genre um, and all things in between. And this time of year, it's a lot of Christmas music. <laughs> And, um, but what I've really been thinking about, I kind of had a little bit of an epiphany this past year, thinking about how we all use our voices. And for me, it's a very natural thing. I use my voice all day, every day, um, doing things like this, but also talking and singing with little children, um, and also advocating for music and arts education, and the whole gamut. And we all do, we all have a voice, and we all use it in various different ways. Um, but what I really realized was that not many of us use our voice to heal ourselves. Not many of us think of our voice as a way to de-stress and improve our quality of life. And in fact, many of us are terrified of our own voice. Many of us may only sing in the shower when we're alone or in our cars when no one else can hear us. And so what, I like, what I've been sharing, what I'd like to share a little bit with you today is how you can just use your breath and your voice to you know, move away some of the stress that might be holding you back, to take you, to carry you to a new place um, of fresh, positive, renewed energy, and so many other things that our voices can do and inspire young children, um, you know, or not. And so there's different ways, right? And so just right now, you guys have been sitting for a long time. You've been shouting and clapping and cheering everyone on. And uh, right now, I just want you to do a few things with me. Is that okay? Are you down? All right. So the first thing is just a little shush. So I'd like you all to take a nice, big, deep breath in and then let that out on a shh. And this is a thing that really helps me to just push away whatever it is that's holding me back from things or whatever it is that's standing in a way that's bothering me, that's hurting me, that's oppressing me. This is a way to just silence it and push it out. So let's do it one more time with that intention. Very nice. And similarly, I'd like us to think about a different sound. So we've pushed it out, and now we're going to take a big gasp in. And I'd like to think of, think of something that maybe made you really excited. It might have been one of the amazing women who took the stage tonight or something, a gym or something that you heard. And just take a nice big gasp of excitement. <sighs> yeah. And when we take that gasp in, what we want to really take in, we want to take in all those things that we know we need, that we know we deserve, the love that we know that we're owed and that we deserve, um, the opportunities that we need in our lives, the things that you are reaching for but maybe seem a little bit unattainable, but if we just believe we know we can get there, just imagine yourself taking a big gasp and just swallowing all those things up, all your hopes and dreams. Want to try it again? Here we go. <sighs> Yeah. And the last thing I want to, well, not the, quite the last thing, but one more thing is this, and this is a big one. This one has a lot of charged energy. So sometimes, you know, someone's just really pissed you off. You know, someone's just really said the wrong thing on the wrong day, <laughs> right before lunch, and it just wasn't good. And sometimes you just need to let it out. You might just need to get alone, and you might want to do a... <clears throat> Ha! Right? A real big let out of sound. Ha! Let's try it all together. Ha! Good. Let's try it again. Ha! Right. So instead of hitting that person or, you know, <clears throat> really cussing them out and giving them the business, you know, which they might deserve, you, you know, hey, sometimes it's warranted, but you can kind of do something different with that energy. So let's do it again. Just do something different with that energy. You ready? Ha! Nice. <laughs> Good job, you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to sing another song. This is a song I wrote a few years back. It's called The One. And this song um, 
was uh, I always try to think, tell people the things that I am also telling myself and sharing them because I feel like they're things we all need to hear. And what I've realized this year that this song really meant is that you really got to stop deferring because you really are the one, right? If you're in the room and you feel nervous about maybe I shouldn't say that, maybe I, maybe I want to tread lightly, but really you are the one to say it. You're the one to do it. If you have something on your heart, you have a dream in your soul, you got something that you just can't let go of, it's really not for someone else to do. It's for you to do. And so this song this year has really kind of helped encourage me to just be that person, to do the work that is on my heart and soul to do, right? Because we dream because we are guided right? Our souls and our, our hearts and our minds, our dreams guide us to, to our purpose. This is how I think of it. And so I'd like you to sing this song to, with me a little bit. And I want you to interact with your fellow audience members um, and just think about like you are the one, right? So if you're that person in a room full of people and they're all white guys and you're like, oh man, we're all white guys you're the one, okay? It's no one else. You're the one to say, hey guys, something's missing here, <laughs> right? You know, if you're that woman who feels like, oh, I don't know, maybe I, I don't want to be difficult. You've heard that before, right? Be difficult. You are the one, okay? So just encourage you to be, you know, step forward, um, you know, step forward. This, what we're trying to do, all of us in different ways, really takes for all of us to step forward. So take that. And I want you to look to the person next to you and then look to the person on your other side, kind of like church maybe. And then there's a, and then there's a, and then there's a inside. There's a, there's a just, there's a you. Okay. So is everybody, um, can we sing a little bit together? Is anyone going to walk out? Don't walk out. <laughs> um, so it's just simple. It's, the words are, you are the one. So it's, you are the one. You are the one. To your other side, you are the one. You are the one. And then to yourself, you are. Okay? So let's try that. I don't care about the pitches. It doesn't matter how you sound. It's about the message, right? So let's practice it all together. Here we go. To one side. You are the one. You are the one. Switch it. You are the one. You are the one. And then to yourself. You are. Oh, you guys are stellar. All right, DJ Sarah. <laughs> All right, y'all, hold two and four, y'all, two and four. Thank you. It's okay, I'm here, we're, we're together. Here we go. Did they tell you you weren't beautiful enough? Did they, did they? Do they criticize how you walk, how you talk? And how you are, do they? Well, I'm here to tell you, and I'm here to tell you that it's not true. No, see, there's so much beauty and strength and wisdom inside. Sacrifices, no, 
They will try to break you down. They will try to take your crown. But don't you let them no no. See, you deserve to have all the love that you can hold in your arms. Oh, and more. So turn this negative energy into possibility. Cause you are the one, come on. You are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are. That's right, you got it. You can do it down the octave too. You are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are. Good job. Thank you, thank you. Across the world, and don't you try to hide it, cause it's brighter, brighter than before. Cause you are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are. Yeah, sing, come on. You are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are, oh yeah. One more time, roll out. You are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are, oh, oh, oh. You are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are the one, you are the one, yeah, you are. Thank you.